So, I don't know where I was. Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'm going to be going over this, uh, this mask right here. This is a Miller, this is a Miller weld mask. Um, this thing is great. I've been able to use it, um, and it kicks ass. It's, I love, I love what this thing does. Um, purpose I got this, uh, this mask for was to weld in tight space, uh, tight spaces. This is, this is crucial for that kind of operation. When you're welding underneath a car, doing exhaust work, doing welding up something, welding some kind of bracket on, you know, where the suspension is, maybe gusseting a straight axle, whatever it is, it's not always that easy to get underneath the car with a hood because the hood is obviously a lot bigger than your head and you're trying to squeeze that into a tight spot it's not gonna it's 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 not always as easy as you think it'll be you'll get underneath there and you'll think everything's cool and then once you actually realize how far away you are from the material you're welding you're like okay this isn't gonna work so this thing for that specific reason kicks ass um i told myself that i was only going to tig weld when using this because i don't want to damage it with sparks arcs and all that other stuff uh, so I don't I don't really stick weld with it and I don't make weld um, there will probably be a situation where I'm gonna have to do that but overall this is specifically for TIG welding uh, TIG welding is the cleanest you know you don't get a bunch of uh, you don't get a bunch of uh, burn marks all over your hood and stuff so you know this is gonna make this last so long this uh, this little mask right here obviously great um, Protect your face, protect your mouth. Um, it's it's a little thin, but it seems durable. It seems like it's pretty flexible plastic. I feel like sooner or later this might break. I'm pretty sure on the website you can uh, you can get a new one. You know, obviously just call them up. Be like, hey, this broke. I need a I need to replace just that part. And then you got these goggles. Um, pretty pretty cool looking. Uh, these are pretty cool, you know, if you want to, you know, if you want to weld something for a second, just using these, oh, come on, dude, seriously, if you want to weld something for a second, just using these, like, go for it, but overall, do not weld with just these, yeah, you're protecting your eyes, that's the most important part of this whole thing, but you're going to burn your face, and getting a getting burn marks on your face from welding is the freaking worst it freaking sucks so bad it makes your face feel like cardboard but uh you know your face is a little more sensitive than the rest of your body if you're out in the, in the sun and you get a sunburn on your on your arm your shoulders it's not as bad it burns it hurts you know but this just this just a whole new level of uh being uncomfortable so so yeah this thing, uh, it's got all the all the controls right here on the on the left side. Got your on button, your hold button, your sensitivity, and your shade. Shades are five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. Um, yeah. So basically, when it comes to this cap, AK the do rag. Man, look at this thing. This thing is is great. Obviously, you got you can you, can, uh, you get some some velcro right here to. Uh, cover up your neck and then, you know, the mask does the rest of the work covers you know your jaw and stuff um, if you're a freak like me and have an industrial size head you're gonna run into some some issues now you know you put this on you know set yourself up then you put the mask on and as you can see right here I got this little strip of skin showing so when I when I welded the first uh, first time, I got this little tiny strip of sun, uh, of uh, burnt skin, and it looks weird. Uh, so I don't blame them for not making this thing big enough for my head. So that's definitely not a negative mark on the product itself. I have a huge head. So uh, so I got a ski mask to go on underneath it. That's more more of a stretchy 
uh, more of a stretchy uh, material so I can pull it down further. I usually just wear that unless I'm getting super crazy and then I slap this on on top of it. Uh, so that was my fix. Like I said, it's, it's not Miller's fault that I have a, a huge head. So. so that's definitely not a negative mark on them. The, uh, the actual auto darkening on this is, you know, works really well. Um, it only has two sensors for the auto darkening. And then you have a replaceable little uh, lens right here that you can replace, you know, once it gets messed up. That's good. Um, I'm used to hoods that have the four sensors, one on each corner, you know, two up top, two on the bottom. I love those. Anytime I use any of my friends or anytime I borrow a hood, they usually only have two. And uh, I'm always having a problem of, uh, of, of, of it not catching of it not catching the, the brightness and auto darkening so so with these that's probably the only thing that I have to say bad about uh, about them is being that I'm using this in the tight pl when I'm when I'm in tight spots sometimes uh, the angle that I'm at something's blocking me and I'm just barely looking over it so it's like sometimes the, the auto darkening doesn't kick on not a problem you just got to move around that's really it. Other than that, they do seem to fog up real easily, but I feel like that's probably just my fault because I'm fucking, because I'm a super sweaty guy. So that's not really on them. Overall, this product is great. Um, everyone's going to have their own reason for wanting this. Um, if you just want this to look cool, don't because you look really weird. You look like a nerd rocking it. You look like a like a ninja turtle, like a futuristic ninja turtle. But uh, overall, love this product. Oh, another thing. This is actually my second one. Something was going on with the first one. Never, and like, sh shout out to Miller. Never in my life have I ever been blown away by customer service. And I was blown away by customer service at Miller. I called the company. I called the company that I bought this from, and I told them my situation that the auto darkening wasn't working. It was like intermittent. It would work, and then it wouldn't. It was awful. So I called them, and I was like, I don't even know what they're gonna do. I've had it for too long, and they're like, call this, call this Miller number. If they can't take care of you, get a hold of us, and you know we'll go from there. I call this number. It it rang like one and a half times. Boom, right off the bat, I got this, uh, I get this lady answers. I, I literally thought I called the wrong number. She answers, she's like, you know, Miller Electronics or whatever, and, and I tell her my problem. She transfers me over to someone else. Some old guy picks up, literally within like two rings. I tell him my situation, he asks for the barcode or the serial number on the, somewhere, I forget where it is, but it's somewhere, somewhere like on the lining right here. Uh, I give him the serial number, he checks it out, and he's like, we have a new one on, on its way. This is, you know, give me your address. I give him my address. We have a new one on its way. Um, you have return, return uh, postage or whatever, uh, so send back your old one. And is there anything else we can help you with? Literally within five minutes, I hung up, and I looked at my phone. It was five minutes on the phone. And within that time, I had already gotten a replacement, and it was on its way to my house. I have never been so impressed in my life with customer service, and that was like amazing. This is probably, I, I always get Miller gloves and stuff like that, and I have a Miller uh, MIG machine. It's a little bit older, I gotta use. But after that, like, I'm definitely gonna take them into consideration for other products. I know they're expensive, but at that point, like, you, I mean, you can't put a price on that, so. So I was really impressed and that's really cool. So, all right guys, well, if you have any questions about this thing, anything at all, just ask me in the comments. Um, yeah, just keep on welding.